Hey everybody, welcome to my messy and cluttered garage workshop. We're going to do a little project today where, and you'll see one of my Ender 3's has been banished out here and is printing something at the moment. But in this little video, I want to print a replacement for this. This is a taillight, housing, lens, and license plate holder off my 1980 CJ7, which I have had for about 30 years. It was really, really nice when I first bought it. But um, over the years it has kind of been neglected and kind of fallen apart a little bit. But we're going to fix all that up. And one of what I want to do today is I want to print a new lens. And instead of red for stop, turn, and tail, I am going to, and, and a clear lens for reverse, the backup lights, I'm going to print it all in white, all in clear, transparent. And then I'm going to, instead of the um, incandescent dual filament bulb down here, and the single filament incandescent bulb up here for, for of course, once again, stop, turn, and tail, and backup lights. I'm going to have white LED up here and red LED down here, and I'm going to get rid of that separator plate. That way the whole lens will light up, you know, in the color that the, um, that, you know, tail, red for tail and break and turn, and light the whole thing up white for reverse. Why not? We'll see how well that works. And originally, this section of the housing down here was clear to light the um, license plate up. You can see the lovely license plate frame, license plate holder part of it. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to print this whole bottom in black ABS. I'm going to leave this black, and I am going to print a little part up for to put an LED, white LED strip in. To, so now to that we're back inside, plate. let's take a better look at this thing. Again, this is a stock tail light housing off a 1980 Jeep CJ7. This is a, an original part. And you can see that there once was a clear spot here, which is now all fogged over to light the license plate light and a metal separator in here to separate the bottom portion from the top. Here is the bulb, which is mounted, was mounted down in there and is held on both by the three mounting bolts and by, they had some little plastic rivets in it a couple places, probably just to keep it from falling apart while they mounted it. And the bottom bulb is turn, tail, and brake. The top bulb is the backup lights. And then the lens, the bottom part again, turn, tail, and brake. And the, the white for the, um, the backup light. So let's pop over, over to um, Thingiverse and let's see what I found. So here's a part by DGP Design from April 15th of 2018. And he does state down here that he found it on GrabCAD. And he does include the um, step file, which is nice. And you can see that it is very, very basic. It is missing a few things. The holes here don't go through. You'd have to drill them. If you print, out, if you print it out of ABS, drilling ABS isn't a big deal. If you print it out of um, PLA, which I can't recommend, especially if you live someplace to get as hot as where I, I live in the summer. PLA is very brittle and doesn't stand up to heat very well. So you could drill it if it's ABS, but I didn't want to. I'm not a big fan of it. There's no hole for the wiring to come through from the back, and um, there's no place to mount that separator plate should you decide you want one. Other things that are different, on the original, there's a slight taper between here and here and here and here and of course on this one there is not but who cares i don't i don't i don't doubt you will if you're printing this and using it so let's pop over to fusion and let's look at the quick changes i made in it and here i have it in fusion you can see i made these holes go all the way down almost to the bottom of this boss so that you could thread your screws in i put a hole for the wiring to go through and I put in rails if you want to make a slider and I did print a quick slider up there to test it because I'm not sure whether I really need that there or not part of me says it should be there and part of me says you know since I have a white and a red bulb why do I need it but I'm going to try it with both anyway I thought I'd put it there just in case and that's really the only changes I made to this part so let's go take a look at it in Cura and something interesting about it in Cura that's the lens. I don't want that right there right now. Let's get rid of it. I'm going to come back to that momentarily. And let's go back and open the the um, housing. Housing version 3 is the one I'm looking for. So here it is here. And um, to print this just like this, there's going to be a support structure around here to print this ledge. And um, let's go here. Let's say... I want to have support, generate support, 
and everywhere overhang angle 50 doesn't matter since that's a 90 doesn't matter whether I make it 45 or 70 let's say slice and you can see it's going to take 15 hours and 41 minutes and use 336 grams of filament which just makes me crazy let's take a look at that I'm not a big fan of support if I can help it look at the amount of support that's going to require I could cut that down a bit by cutting down the um, the infill for the support but that's still going to be I, I'm not happy with that so I had the bright idea to turn support off and come down and click cures make overhang printable and let's slice it again and let's see what we get. So now we're looking at 8 hours and 7 minutes on 172 grams of filament. That's half the amount of filament and darn near half the time, a little more than half the time. Not much more than half, not much more though. So this is what it's going to look like though. Instead of that nice 90 degree here, now we're going to get this 45 out. And um, I actually kind of like it and I printed one. Let me just pop over and let's take a look at the one I printed and let's see what it looks like. Get this out of the way. I don't need that there for now. I think I'm done with that. And here it is. Here's the one I printed. And you can see that that profile on it where it tapers down like that where we made overhangs printable. I actually kind of like that. With 20% infill, it's... It's really sturdy. I used four top and bottom layers because I wanted I wanted the back where it mounts on to be sturdy as well. So I'm pretty happy with that. I made that little separator. It's floating around here someplace. There it is. So I don't know whether we're going to want that in there or not, but there it is if we decide to want it. And a person could glue that in or maybe make a thicker one and force it in. Um, I don't know that I need it or not, but there it is. So I'm pretty darn happy with that. The 3D Solutech filament that I'm using for this is working really, really well for me. It's printing a lot better than that no-name brand of ABS I had. Now, for the record, I've had that sitting on my shelf for a couple of years, so it could have just been age. But um, And since there's no name brand, I can't badmouth them. So anyway, this 3D Solutech is not expensive, and it's working really, really well. It's made in the USA. I don't know if it's available to you guys who don't live in the USA. But if you do live in the USA, it certainly is available on Amazon, and it's not expensive. So onward and upward, we can put this in. And this, the wires are going to go through from the my whole... And I have not done this yet, so you guys are going to be right here with me on the cutting edge as I do this the first time. And you're going to see how good or bad this actually is. I'll show you one little thing I had to do. I did not add an oversize to this, and I should have. I probably should have printed this at two, probably one and a half, two, two and a half percent oversize. So while the holes line up just fine, I had to... Can you see it? I had to bend this down just slightly. You can see how the bulb is angled a tiny little bit in order because it was hitting the top of it and not letting my holes line up. So that is that is that. And oh you know what? Let's get this to one side. Let's go take a look at the at the lens. So I'm gonna pop back over to Fusion and let's go look at the lens. And you can see I also made a gasket for it, which you saw printing when this video first started out of the Foxmart TPU. But any TPU would print this. And I'm going to put all this stuff up on Thingiverse for everybody who wants it. And here's the lens I created. I did this from scratch based on the, on the dimensions from the housing. And um, I'm pretty pleased with it. I wanted it to be very simple and utilitarian. I didn't want it to be fancy. I'm a very utilitarian person. The, the, the LED tail lights you can buy for the Jeeps on eBay and Amazon and other places like that, they remind me of a 70s jukebox or a 70s pinball machine. And that just doesn't, I'm, I'm sure they're great. I'm sure they're really wonderful. But the, the, the appearance just doesn't fit in with how I like things to be. So that's the lens. Let's go back to Cura. You got a quick, a quick um, preview of it before, but let's go back up. Where'd Cura go? Let's go back to Cura. Let's get it back in here and show you the print time. I printed it in the transparent 3D Solutech ABS. And open recent. Where is my lens? There it is. There's the lens there. Up. Oh, let's go back to prepare out of preview. 
and can't print it like that. I, somehow I managed to design this one upside down. Not something I normally do, but I did it in this case by accident. Oh, there we go. It has to be printed like that. And don't need support or don't need make overhangs printable. And slice. And you'll see it takes... It takes 83 grams of filament and takes about three and a half hours to print at my at my 3-2 um, layer height. Um, you might want to print this one at, at, two zero, at 0.2. I don't know why. I print almost everything at 3-2 anymore, especially if it's something, you know, some kind of utilitarian thing like this. If it's something pretty, yeah, you want you, really you want the appearance of it to be good. Go down to 2 or, or even 1.5, but... For me, 3.2 is fast and it works good. Seems to be very strong. So that's that. And back quickly over to Fusion. And I showed you the gasket, right? Yeah, there's the gasket. So let's get out of here and let's see what this stuff looks like. All right. So let me grab the lens. Lens went walkabout on me. Uh, I don't know where, oh, there it is right there. <laughs> Here's the lens and the gasket out of the gasket I made out of the um, TPU. Here's the lens out of the transparent um, transparent ABS. And as you'll see, here's my phone here. I'll show you how transparent it is. You can see the phone right through it when it's close up. And... If I didn't have such bright lights on, you'd be able to see it. Nonetheless, I think I've got about the perfect level of transparency opacity in here. And as you'll see, I lucked out and it fits perfectly right off the bat. Let's take a, let's stick the, the, the gasket in it and let's stick the lens in it. And um, yeah, it, I mean, it fit perfectly right off the bat. So that's that right there. But while we got it here... Let's do this. First off, let's get rid of these old bulbs because we're not going to be using those. And I got these things. And this is for the the um, backup light. You see it's got a projector at the top and a crap load full of white LEDs. This has a projector at the top and these are all red LEDs. And I'll put a link to them below. It's a Yita motor for the 6500K white and Bryshine. That's where I couldn't make these names up to be any funnier. Bryshine for the um, the um, red ones. And to be honest, they're no more expensive. You go buy you go buy these now. They're four or five bucks a piece down at the auto parts store. It's crazy. Probably because hardly anybody uses them anymore. But let's stick these in and um, let's kind of get a preview on how they work. Let's get this back in right. There we go. That's right, right. Yep, that's right. That's my single filament. That's my dual filament. Going to go like that. Right? Nope. Going to go like that. Right? Nope. There we go. And doesn't matter which way that one goes in. fighting me a little bit here, as is normal. What doesn't? There we go. Okay. And I'm going to need some kind of a ground outside of it, so let's, let's stick one of the mounting bolts through it. Come on, get in there. There it goes. Okay, now it's sticking out the back. Give me a ground. Let's put the lens on it. I haven't done this yet, so you're going to be as surprised at what it looks like as I do. So I got my wires out. I just happen to have the um, power supply I made from a computer PC power supply. If you didn't see that video and you want to do it, go look. Um, it's back in my older videos. And um, let's switch it on here. And it is set to, can you see it? It's set to 14 volts on these terminals over here and that's pretty much close enough let's see i've got to hook this one up to 
what's going to be okay i'm back i had to run off for a minute to get a to get a better ground wire that would reach all the way around to the to the bolt sticking out the back of the taillight because I wanted the lens on. I had to put a bolt in through it to get a ground in it and get a longer wire to run around. But that's in now, and now we can try it. I can't say you're doing this with me for the first time since I actually did see it while I was just now trying to test it. But you'll still be impressed. So let's start out. Let's turn one of them on, and let's see what we get. That would be the white for backup lights. Then we got a... A low level red for tail lights and then we have the bright red for for brake lights and turn signals so let's try them more than one at a time there is your tail lights this would be brake or turn I'll turn the room lights out too and then this would be this would be tail light and backup and I don't think I mean that so that so overpowers that red I can't see any need for a, um, a separator in there Let's put the separator in just for fun and see what it looks like. Oh, I already can tell I don't like that because you get nothing you get. But that's that's how the stock one would have been. Let's try um let's try back up now. Oh, that's pretty interesting. Let's turn on let's turn off the the bright lights and let's see if um if you can see it any better or if it, it'll be worse it might be worse <laughs> that's tail light there here is here is break or turn with the tail and then here is um you know what let me let me get that bright computer screen off as well there we go that's better and again turn or stop and backup lights Let's take the separator out and look. All right, separator is out. And once again, brake light, whoops, or excuse me, that would be tail light, the low level red. And then this would be turn or stop. And this would be backup. Wow. That is a lot of light. I see no need whatsoever for the separator to be in there. And that's only at 14 volts. All right, so there you have it. Let me switch the lights back on here. There you have it. That is a um, 3D printed taillight housing and lens for a Jeep CJ7, CJ5. I think these the YJ is the same. Don't know about anything later than the YJ. You'll have to um, work on that yourself. But um, there it is. So I am going to, I only have the one printed now. So I am going to print another one out and I am going to get them mounted on the Jeep. And my Jeep is probably not going to be a runner again until, um, until next winter or certainly after next summer. But um but I'll have these on there here in, in the next couple of weeks, and I will make a quick video catching up with it. All these links to everything will be below. And that's it for today. If you like this video, if I've helped you out, if I've entertained you, please like and subscribe, hit notifications. I'll put links to everything, as I said, below, including the 3D Solutech filament and Amazon and the bulbs at Amazon, and I'm going to upload my my lens and my improved taillight housing and gasket to um, the Thingiverse. So, yep, that's it. Thanks for coming, and I will catch you the next time. Bye for now.